Welcome to this resiliencetech.io video. Today we're going to be, I thought it'd be interesting to compare these three radios. We have Retavis RT10, Retavis RT81, and a Motorola XPR7350. The reason I thought it'd be interesting to compare these is that this is this is one of my favorite new finds, and you might have seen my, the video I did just on these radios. These are interesting 900 megahertz license-free ISM band digital radios. They're D, basically DMR digital radios that work on the 900 megahertz band. Uh, just really nice, solid, easy to use, good interface radios, and they have encryption built in. So you can have encrypted, private uh, communications off the kind of uh, FRS bands that are full of kids and uh, just really nice all round, good value, I think. So if you're interested in these, watch the, the video. I'll link it uh, uh, down below. And uh, these are just really nice. So with the success with that, I thought I'd try one of these ret retrovises. Uh, this is the RT81, which is a UHF radio. So it's on the UHF 400 to 470 uh, band. It's uh, not in the 900 megahertz band. It's a, in some ways it's similar to the RT10. It's a DMR radio. It has encryption and um, it's a similar looking radio. There are some differences. Um, one of them is that this is allegedly waterproof, so it's a kind of it, it does feel a, both of them feel really nice and sturdy, but this particularly feels solid, and um, it um, has a um, so it comes with this antenna. I don't know how how good it is. Interestingly, um, it has a, a female antenna here, which is different than the the RT10 which has a male antenna and that's a bit frustrating because the the Motorola radios have male antennas too so I was hoping I could put a Motorola uh, UHF antenna onto this which uh, might be a little better but um, I can't do that so that's a kind of weird little difference um, also these only have two zones whereas the RT10 has eight zones so you're limited to 32 channels instead of 128 i don't really know why that is the programming software is very similar to the rt10 uh, but it's a fun it's, it's a weird quirk with the encryption this oh, into encryption you can choose um normal encryption and then there's two enhanced options but there's only one set of encryption keys which are 10 digits long um, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but it does seem to work. Like it does seem to actually encrypt. One thing to point out is that, that even though these two radios are both UHF um, DMR radios, the encryption systems are different. So the encryption doesn't work between them. But as long as you're not using encryption, these two are compatible. Um, so overall, I like this RT81 again. It's just another really nice solid easy to use, nice in the hand, radio, um, DMR, test it on a few DMR frequencies and things, just works really nicely, good, loud, audio. So, uh, winner there for the Retavis again, except for those, a few little quirks. Then Motorola, this is the 7350, um, this is the non-display version of um, Motorola's radios, um, XPR radios, so I chose it because it's the most similar to the um, to to these ones without display, it's very similar design as well. I'm sure Retavis has kind of copied Motorola's there, but uh, very similar design to the XPR there. Um, so let's switch these two radios on. If you switch the Retavis on, um, I was already on. I'll turn it off and then on again. You get this weird little Microsoft. Windows XP sound or something, and then it tells you what channel you're on. The Motorola does its um, its classic uh, set of beeps as you turn the radio on. And I'm going to make sure they're both on the same channel, and just show that as long as you're not using encryption. Test one two three, and test one two three. Um, they work nicely together, so that's kind of good. Um, so the Motorola does do some things that the others don't. 
Um, you can use this with Motorola motor turbo repeaters like Capacity Plus and a lot of systems use this. So if you need to use those linked repeaters or Motorola repeaters, you're going to need one of these, not the Retavis. Um, the Motorola has made its programming software freely available to anybody with an account with Motorola. So you can uh, download the software, you can get the cables fairly cheaply on, on, on eBay or something, or Amazon, I think. Um, and this is, I mean, it's a super sturdy radio, it's nice, but I, I don't know what these cost you. I got this second hand, it's probably $600 or something. Um, so a lot more expensive, but you do have the Motorola brand. It is the knobs just a little more solid and stuff. So if you really want, I guess the the best, then you're probably going to go with the Motorola. But I'm just really like there is an advantage of the Retavis. Is I don't know if you can see here. It is just a little bit smaller and um, a little easier in the hand. I think it's just easy to kind of hold whereas the Motorola just feels a little chunky and clunky um, but um, both kind of comparable radios um, so so that's it I just wanted to give you a feel of these three radios my recommendation would be overall um, for you know uh, license free miscellaneous use especially in buildings and dense environments like urban environments and cruise ships uh, I just love the little RT10 uh, encryption, so everything's private, easy to use programming software, easy to use radio, just all around nice. So definite winner there for general purpose use. And uh, for, if you want a UHF radio, you want to use a repeater, regular DMR repeater or ham radio use or whatever, or you want something that's waterproof, definitely this um, RT81. And then if you need to use Capacity Plus or something, or you just really want the solidity of a Motorola, you can fork out the, the money for, for the, this one. I think there's actually a new range called the R7 now, which has re is replacing the XPRs, so you might want to look at those. And obviously there's more common display models of these as well. Well, thank you for watching this Resilience Tech IO video. I'll give some links below so you can, uh, if you're interested, particularly in the Retavis, you can get them on Amazon.